Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club design team. And I am going to be working with the Tis The Season uh, page kit as well as some add-ons. So I'm just quickly just showing y'all just briefly what comes in the page kit. It's nothing like uh, Shannon Aller, uh, who she's crafty, uh, does the unboxing videos. So you can definitely go check that out. Um, but I just was going through the kit trying to figure out um, what I wanted to do just to get some inspiration and that's what I like to do before I start a layout I like to go through everything and then kind of brainstorm as to where I'm you know going to uh, take my page so I was immediately inspired by this piece of paper right here and I'm gonna go ahead and set everything else to the side so I can do a little bit of mixed media or I just add some ink onto this black background now I've been like I've said in a few videos been completely just really addicted to darker card cardstock and darker um, pattern papers and layering on white ink and white ink spray and gold spray as well. I just like the look of it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing some ink blending with my unicorn um, pigment ink from Hero Arts. And then I'm going to add some of my favorite spray that I use like on almost every layout. This is like my second bottle. Um, it's the Dina Wakely uh, white acrylic gloss spray and I even picked up some in black and it's my favorite thing because I mean I usually use regular just white paint but this is just so much more handy and convenient and plus you get to spray it and I just I really really like the look of it so um I am going to add some of my Heidi Swap gold color shine I still have a bunch left and then off camera I do take a white gel pen and I add just some simple lines using my t-square ruler and that's about it um so I as soon as I saw these frames, and this is from the Hey Santa collection from Crate Paper, I knew, of course, I wanted to turn one into a shaker uh, because I also picked up the Tis the Season sequin mix, and it's so cute. It has, like, striped sequins. It has these really cute little um, peppermint candy clay beads in there, and oh, I'm addicted to it. It's so pretty, and it was just screaming to be turned into a shaker. So I added some acetate to the back side of the frame, and then I'm adding my foam tape. And then I'm gonna quickly uh, pour in my sequin mix and uh, close it up with vellum. So super simple, um, super easy. It just adds a lot of sparkle to your page and the shaker just really highlights the sequin mix as like a whole. And that's why I love shakers because you get to see all of the really pretty bits all together. And Not Just For Boys has some of the best sequin mixes that I've seen um, with like the really cute clay pieces because I, I don't know where they get them but they have so many different mixes with the really unique clay pieces and it's one of my favorite things okay so um here is my layout off camera I added that um ornament pattern paper I just um trimmed a couple strips added it to the back and cut into the side and top and ruff ruffled up the edges I used the um the like the what is the word that I'm oh my gosh it's like the jute twine um it's in blue and I added that it was like from my kit where they tie your kit together so I um punched holes and added some um eyelets oh my gosh I'm like struggling for words here and I added some eyelets into my frames and I strung them from like the top so if it as if they were like hanging down so my shaker is one with the frame the other like larger frame is going to hold my photo and then the bottom frame is going to hold my title and my title is using that Christmas acrylic piece and um, and then pulling in some of those Pink Fresh Studio Alphas from the Extraordinary Limitless kit. So um, now here's a trick because the Christmas word actually pops out of the red outline. And to get it to stay, I just added glue on the bottom like I stood it up um, so that it was vertical. And then I added the glue on the bottom of each of the letters um, in the red piece and then placed the letters in and let it stand for a minute to, you know, so it could set. And that's how I was able to keep all my letters inside that red outline. Um, so yeah, so I have that. I'm just embellishing with a couple add-ons. That sticker sheet is an add-on. It's from, I think it's, I think it's Cartabella. And then I'm adding in the super cute candy canes from the kit and then these add-on fabric stars, which I absolutely love. <laughs> they're so, so cute and they're puppy and they're great. Um, I did add a few bits from the pretty little studio, I think it's Tis the Season, um, little ephemera pack, uh, just to add here and there. I did add a little cluster, uh, like a floral cluster. 
under my photo from that same from the same sticker sheet that you're seeing there. So I'm tucking in a few of those ornaments. I thought it just needed a little bit, you know, of extra like pops of red. So I pulled in the ornaments to look like they were hanging. But I love how this layout turned out. I think it was super fun. Uh, you could see those lines using my white, my white gel pen. I'm loving that Christmas acrylic piece. I think I need like five more. It's just so pretty. And the blue and the red, it just really pop and match everything so nicely. Um, but I think that's it. I don't really think I add too much else. I love those candy canes. Those are so fun and they're just really, really cute um, and really cute additions to my entire page. Um, but lastly, I do take, I think this is the puppy stickers from the Vicky Booten collection. Is it Evergreen and Holly? I don't know if that's where they're from. I think. I don't. Uh, I think it's, I think that's where they're from. Um, so anyways, yeah, so I added a few of the snowflakes and like little star pieces uh, just for extra pops of gold. So that is my layout. Um, here is the uh, the full layout along with some up close shots. But thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.